Let's make some inexpensive but adorable DIY gift baskets for Christmas. Hey everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. You guys know that Christmas is in only two months, right? I think now is a great time to start thinking about gift giving because I think it is so special when you can put together something really personalized and handmade for your friends and family. But that does not have to be hard and that does not have to be expensive. So today I'm excited to partner with Cricut who is sponsoring this video today and show you how to put together four beautiful gift baskets from all dollar store supplies that are personalized with the Cricut. Each of these gift baskets is so easy to put together and all of these Cricut personalization projects are fantastic for beginners. Let's get started. Let's start by making a relaxation themed gift basket. This is perfect for that spa lover in your life. I'm using my Cricut Explore Air 2 to make these gift baskets, but you can use any of the Cricuts. I have a video on the comparison for them. I will leave that in the description box below. Open up Cricut Design Space, that's Cricut's free software, start a new project and search for this image. I just put relax, chill in the search bar and found this image. Love it because it has the cutest font. You can bring it into your project and make sure it is about two and a half inches wide, which is perfect for most mugs. Then go back into the image search and search for tag and use whichever tag shape that you like. I liked this one and made sure that it was two and a half inches wide. Then you can change the color of your tag. I like to do this just to visualize everything. And then copy and paste that relaxed, chill, and unwind image and resize one of them so it fits on top of the tag. Now you just want to change the colors up here in the upper left menu because you're going to be cutting both of these on different materials. Make sure to save your projects. And if you want to do exactly what I'm doing here, I will leave the links to all of the projects I made in Cricut Design Space in the description box below. Now you're going to send your project to your Cricut. You're going to want to make sure the first one, this white one here that you're going to put on the tag is mirrored. So you just click that mirror option in the left corner. The other ones are fine as is. And the reason we're mirroring that first one is because we're going to print it onto heat transfer paper, which prints essentially upside down. I'm using Cricut's iron-on transfer paper in just a white color. I bought a huge roll of this because I want to do lots of white iron-on, probably on red for the holiday season. You want to make sure that the shiny side down is on your Cricut mat. Pop it into your machine, make sure your machine is set to iron-on, and then just follow the prompts on Design Space to cut this onto your iron-on paper. Now, if you are new to Cricut and you're new to the software design space, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below. I just did a video on design space walking you through exactly everything. So watch that video and you will know exactly how to use it. I find it pretty user friendly. Next, you're going to cut out the next design, which is the larger chill, relax image. And for this one, I am using permanent vinyl. The reason I'm using the permanent vinyl is because I want to put it on a mug and I want that mug to be washable. Again, just follow all the prompts in Design Space. Make sure that your Cricut is set to the vinyl setting. And then finally, you're going to put some cardstock onto your Cricut mat. I'm using red for Christmas and pop that into your Cricut machine. Make sure the setting is on cardstock and press start. This one is cutting out your cute little gift tag. It does it really quickly, so it would be really fun to cut out a whole bunch of gift tags for all your Christmas gifts this way this year. I found this mug at Dollarama. That's the dollar store here in Canada. And these are my absolute favorite mugs. They come out in all sorts of different colors and I loved this teal color for this particular gift basket. So I am going to weed all of the excess vinyl off of this deckle I made, this chill relax deckle. And then you just grab some transfer tape and you put that on top just like this. 
use this tool from Cricut to make sure your transfer tape is well attached to your vinyl and you're ready to apply this to your cup. Make sure that your mug is nice and clean. I usually just use baby wipes to clean my mugs and then apply the decal on it just like this. Use the tool to make sure it's firmly on top of the mug and then you can slowly and carefully remove the transfer tape. And that is how easy it is to make a personalized mug. I love it for this themed gift basket just like this, but imagine if you made people's names or you did funny sayings or quotes that they love. Now let's work with this iron-on transfer that we made. Again, I'm weeding all of the excess material, which means just removing everything. I use my hands for this and also there's a little Cricut tool you can use as well. So you can see it is backwards, but once I flip this upside down, it's the right way. I'm going to apply this on top of cardstock. This is the first time I've ever applied heat transfer vinyl onto cardstock and I wanted to see how it would work. I'm using the Cricut Easy Press for the perfect heat setting. You can also use a household iron and look at how amazing that turned out. I love the look. All right, so now let's assemble the gift basket. I'm using this really cute wired gift basket from Dollarama. And I also grabbed some of this really pretty golden metallic tissue paper. I think it's a good idea to put quite a lot of tissue paper inside gift baskets so that your items are standing up and kind of poking out of the gift basket. Don't forget to remove all of the tags from your items if you're using dollar store items and nobody will know your secret. I'm adding a little makeup bag, an exfoliating glove, candle, bubble bath, a couple of brushes, and I'm finishing it off with this cute mug that I made with the Cricut, as well as some chocolates. It's a collection of simple items, but I think someone would really appreciate this gift basket. The finishing touch is that tag that I made to match the mug, and I'm just taking some golden ribbon and tying the tag to the handle of my gift basket. Now this basket is all finished and ready to give. I love how this one turned out. Now let's make a baking themed gift basket. I gotta say this one is probably my favorite. It is so cute. Again, we're using Cricut's design space. I found this really sweet watch me whip image right in design space. Again, you can grab it for free if you have the Cricut access monthly subscription or pay a small fee for it. I will leave a link to this project down in the description box below if you wanna use this exactly as is. You're gonna make sure both your small and large image are mirrored because you're gonna be cutting both of these on heat transfer vinyl. I'm using the same white heat transfer vinyl as my first project and putting this on my Cricut mat. And then just like last time, follow all of the Cricut design space prompts and cut your design onto the heat transfer vinyl. Now apply some red cardstock on top of your Cricut mat. Make sure your Cricut is set to cardstock and cut out that tag. You could easily do these baskets in bulk and just make sure to cut two, three, four of each of these projects at a time. Now, just like the last project, I'm weeding out all of the excess vinyl from my heat transfer vinyl. And I grabbed these oven mitts from the dollar store from Dollarama. I'm making sure all of the little dust and fuzz is off of it. Warming it up a little bit with my Cricut Easy Press. And then you can apply the heat transfer vinyl pattern on just like this. Take the heat press, pop it on, and just heat up that vinyl until it is solidly on your oven mitt. 
Once it's dry, you can carefully remove that top layer of plastic. And your cute personalized dollar store oven mitt is all done. You can do it to both of the oven mitts, but I just did it to one. I'm making the tag the same way I made the last one with the heat transfer vinyl on top of the cardstock, and I am definitely going to do this again. I love how this turned out. Now let's assemble the gift basket. I grabbed a cute mixing bowl from Dollarama for this, and I'm adding some red tissue paper. Next, I found this cute plaid towel. I'm gonna layer that on top. Then I'm adding some cake mix. You can add some icing as well. Some measuring cups. Don't forget to take off all of the tags. A whisk, a spatula, and of course your personalized oven mitts. And finally, some sweet little cupcake liners. When you're making gift baskets, try to think of a color theme. So in this case, I loved the idea of pink and red together. So I'm also using some red ribbon to attach this DIY tag to my final gift basket. I think having a theme like baking, relaxation, and then having a color theme really takes your DIY gift baskets to the next level. Even if the items are simple, I think the thought that you put into this is going to make the recipient smile. And this one is all done and I love the look of it. Now let's make a coffee themed gift basket. This one's a little bit smaller in scale, so it's great if you don't wanna spend quite as much money. I'm using the exact same method as the other one to make a personalized coffee mug. I found this no talkie before coffee decal image design on Cricut Design Space. Again, I'll make sure to link that in the description box below. I thought this one was adorable too. I also found this mug at Dollarama and I love the red color for Christmas. You can make a tag in the same way as the last ones with the heat transfer vinyl over the cardstock. And here's how I assembled this one. This wire basket's from Dollar Tree, and I'm adding some red tissue paper inside. I found this iced coffee at Dollarama, and I'm adding some little cookies to the basket as well. Next, I put some coffee beans inside of an upcycled jam jar and then adding that beautiful personalized mug. I love the color of this one, red with the turquoise inside. We're gonna finish this one off with that cute little tag and some more red ribbon. And this one is all done and I think it would make a great gift for so many people. I could see this being a teacher's gift or a gift for a friend. Now let's finish off these gift basket ideas with this cozy themed gift. This one is so sweet and cozy and again I think it would make a great gift for so many people. I'm using another one of these dollar store mugs and adding the Stay Cozy decal on it. Again, this is a Cricut Design Space image. I will link it down below. Making a gift tag with the same image on that red cardstock. Now to assemble this gift basket, you can grab a large tin like this one. This one's from Dollarama. Add a lot of tissue paper inside, especially if you have a larger scale tin like I do. For this one, I am using some metallic gold. And then for the items, just think of all the cozy textiles you can add. I'm adding this beautiful scarf, some really fuzzy socks, this sweet candle shaped like a pine cone. And then you can add some fuzzy mittens, some delicious chocolate, some twinkle lights, and your personalized Stay Cozy mug. Oh, 
And now let's add that little gift tag to finish off this sweet little gift basket. And we're all done. I love how warm and cozy this one looks and I can't wait to give this one away. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed these gift basket ideas. Let me know down in the comments below which of these four gift baskets was your favorite. I think I'm partial to the cozy gift basket. I think that would be really fun for a variety of different people, friends, family, man, woman. I think it's such a versatile basket. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm gonna leave some more videos for you to watch next right up here.